Hello guys, this is Rob from Rob Joe Films here today, and I'm going to show you how to do the third and final step of building this tank. Maybe it's second and final, fourth and final, I don't know. Whatever step it is. So more or less today we're going to build the gun, these two little gates, a little hatch kind of thing, and well, that's going to go the gun. So uh, let's start off on showing you how to build the gun. So I'm going to take this one apart. It's a reasonably easy build, uh, a little complicated in parts, uh, hard, kind of hard, maybe hard to follow, but as long as you get it uh, all done, it's not an overly complicated build, it, but it ends up coming out looking. Uh, pretty good. Surprised at how well it worked out, turned out to be. Okay. So, so here's like all the pieces, and we can go into those. I'm just gonna show you how to build them. So, I'm gonna want to start off. Take three, two by four pieces, two or four blocks actually, and put them on the bottom. So this is going to create a four by six block, kind of. Okay, and then you want to go to the bottom, flip it over more or less, and completely, and just put these two by four things attaching all three. So it's like a little. So there's one. There's two. There's three. And on the other side, there's like one's like here. There's two. There's three. So it kind of disconnects them all. And you have these two other areas over here. These, you more or less just take two more, two by four flat pieces, and stick them right there. Okay? So now you have your two by four block. That's then, um, you got a little plate section on the bottom, and that plate section has a little extension off the side. And that will be, I'll explain why later in the video. So then, you're gonna wanna take two more two by four blocks, and stick them off to the side. It doesn't really matter what side. You can do it on this side, uh -oh. like that, or you can do it on this side. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure, just choose one side, and that you're going to have to stick with it. It's easier if you do it on this side because that's kind of the way the video does it. So then you're going to want to take the inner one, more, and then you more or less come over here and fill this in. Right, get another, you put another layer there. So now we more or less have a 6x6 six six block. Okay, a lot of it has plates in the bottom. Oh yeah, and more or less just put a plate on the bottom, again on the bottom. So this all has plates on the bottom and these two extensions. If you did, if you, okay, you can do one or two of these extensions going off or whatever. You don't need all of them. You just need one. But if you did those two, do not put a third one on this piece. Okay, this this new segment that we just built, do not, just build that, just put a 6 by, make enough for a 6 by 2 area, do not build off in any direction, or that will screw up the tank top piece, I don't know. Then, get a 2 by 3 piece, and this is the segment that keeps on screwing me up, and stick it off to the side. Then, you're going to want to build this little... Piece. So it more or less consists of nothing more than two, two by um, what you call it, two or one by one by one pieces, a one by four piece that goes on top of them. Makes a little, uh, it kind of makes like a little doorway kind of thing. And then you want to come and take flat pieces, pieces that are. We got a flat top or whatever, and put those on top. So, make a nice little flattened off doorway. You don't have to do that, it just makes it look better. If you want to build it the same way that I built it, I would suggest putting those on. And then, we come over to our site section, and we have this little piece sticking out, right? Well, you're going to want to take this, and put it on there. So now, that little segment that sticks off is right there, and our little doorway is around it, kind of. And that is going to be this section right here. As you can see, this one has a radio piece, 
I didn't put a radio piece in this one, but if you do want to, you're gonna have to re you're gonna have to build that. Um, you're gonna have to replace this one by three with three different layers of one. So you're gonna put a or no, one by three. Sorry, what am I saying? Two by three with three different layers of flat pieces. Okay, and then in the middle one, you're gonna want to have a little hooked piece, a little piece that comes off and hooks up. I don't know if you really can see that, but I'm going to try to take this off so you can see. There. You see it's got a little extension off to there that comes out and up. You put that on there, and you get a little, I don't know, whatever one of, the, whatever one of these things is called. Uh, put it on there. Make sure it's, a, make sure it's a, uh, a vertical one, not a horizontal one. So it kind of makes it go like that. And then, oh crap, wait, I put that on backwards. Oops. And then you more or less just have that. And you have a little radio. But that is not in this tank model. This one's a little more rudimentary. So then, you're going to want to more or less just fill this place out. So just put a bunch of bricks in there. It doesn't really matter what, what type of bricks you use. Just put a bunch of bricks in there. Then you're going to want to put... So now we have, and this may be kind of hard to understand, but this is more or less what we're building, is we are building this section right here. We just built over to here, and we more or less have the first two layers, and this is going to be a third one, fourth one. Yeah, so we're getting, we're getting there. So we more or less have this nice solid 6 by 6, six, six, by six block with a little extension out there. It's two layers high. And then what we want to do is take... Two of these two by two pieces, and we want to put them right there. So right next, so we have our little doorway extension piece, a little side railing for a guy will stand. And we put these two on these pieces. Do not fill this this little section in here. That's a crucial part because <clears throat> that will be where the guy is standing. He's standing in there. And then you can kind of go fill this, the rest of the stuff in. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Fill it in like this, and leave a little gap right there. Okay, um, sorry guys, I lost, I uh, ran out of memory, so I do uh, go and empty it, so we're just going to resume this back where we uh, left off, kind of. So, um... So now, I believe I've shown you up to this part. Um, you, you can have one of two designs back here. The 2x3, or 2x2x3 two by two by high thing with the one angle, or the just the solid brick for two levels, and then a curved piece over for one, for one level. Um, like on this one. So now, I'm going to go, so now we're going to get, uh, move forward. So, you want, so, if you remember these two little extension pieces, it makes this little gap in the, in the center, these 2x2 two two pieces over here. You're going to want to put these uh, flat pieces, the nice curved flat pieces, on top of them. So then you get a nice shiny surface over there. And then you're going to want to take two more of these. A two by two, uh, some, enough to make a 1x4 uh, flat surface area. And put that there. So now, more or less, the only thing that's not the flat piece is what we started off with this four or this four by six little area brick area. So we started off with, and it's kind of what we're finishing with. And then you're going to take enough to make a row of eight, and a row of uh, it's eight long of these angled pieces. Okay, and they have to be all the same, otherwise it doesn't look right. And put those on top. Put those on the two, two edges, more or less. So you kind of see that. And then fill in the gap in between the two with bricks. So now you have like that. We're getting pretty close to the end. Then you want to take four of these one by four pieces right here with the flat tops. Nice smooth flat tops, and put those all 
on the top so everything is nice and flat. See, now you more or less have built this. Now yeah, it looks pretty good. But now we don't have the gun. So the gun you can also do in one of two ways. The first way is you more or less, number one, you're going to have to go back to this piece and replace it with, instead of a, one of the ones that look like a, yeah, uh, that piece, the little pull piece that I showed you make a plus one, and you're going to have to replace it with one that has a little circle in it instead, and more or less, then you just get a chain of these circular pieces, about five long, then put a little radio dish thing, then put another one of a, uh, another one in front of it, and then more, and then you kind of just come over to that front little circular area and stick that in there. And there you go, you got that gun. But this gun is a little more stable, won't fall off as easily, which is nice. More or less consists of the same piece over and over and over again. Okay, so you more or less take. I don't know if you know what these pieces are, but these, they're more or less you can stick the little technic the tiny the small technical axles into one thing they're kind of like the technical axle extenders because they allow you to stick to one into one end one in the other end and kind of make it so that they, you can make a longer axle um yeah i'm not sure if you can see it but I'm, I, I think you know what i'm talking about and then you more or less just put attach a bunch of them so you kind of take take the axle pieces stick them in that and then and then just do that so that it makes one of these things one of these uh so then you have a little axle sticking out the back and three axle connectors all right next to each other and take that take this and stick it into the little hole we made so now you got a gun you can leave it at that or you can do the extra stuff and this one you more or less take the same design, I try to find one that's a little bigger. You know, this one, for what I did, it kind of looks like a little plus or whatever. It's a bigger one. Just try to find a bigger or different looking axle connector. If you don't, just put a, a fourth axle connector on there, and that'll be all you need. If you don't, just put this, and then take, usually these come in blue. I managed to find one in black. The um, They have an axle on one side, and a little... Um, I'm not sure what to call it, circular axle type thing, little circular set or whatever, on the other side. I'm not really sh sure what to call that. So then you more or less just put that in one end, so you have the nice circular piece, the rounded piece on one side, and the axle on the other. And just attach that, hopefully you got an open end, and there you go, you got the other gun. So you can do the gun one of two, in either way, it really doesn't matter, just do it in one so now we need to have. So now you put this. Now you put this on, and, I, and, and as you can see, this one can turn back and forth. This one, there's no way for it to turn. So you need one of these little rotating pieces. I have mine in red. You don't have to have yours in red. You can have it in any color you want. Just make sure that's one of these little pieces that can rotate. And stick that in the closest to the center as you can get. So and it, it just put it somewhere around the center. And then on this thing, if you built it the same way I did you'll have a nice little quadrant area, okay? If you look at the very, if you look at the origin of that qu of those quadrants, the quadrants are, are the different axes, axes the one that's made up just by the edges of the different plates that we used. You can kind of see a little area in, in the center, and you're just going to want to kind of make it line up so it kind of goes on there. And there you got the gun. It's able to rotate. Then... This is the only, and then you gotta go these. You gotta do these. So you put, you take these two little curved pieces, kind of like that, and you put them under the top of the tank. Make sure that they're in the front. You have to be in the front of the tank, just as close and just as close to the corners as you can get them without them having come off the edges. So that's pretty big. That's pretty easy, and then. In, this, in one of the sides, it doesn't matter which one, I chose this side. You'll notice that this kind of makes, a, there's a kind, if you were to make this into a, a full curved piece, there's a little area right here that you can put stuff in. 
you're going to want to put this little a rounded gray a round kind of circular gray piece it's kind of like a, a flat plate but it's rounded and, uh, and you put that right there or you can put it right there it really doesn't matter and the purpose of that is if you're filming a movie if you're filming a movie you can have uh, you know like a guy up here to come out of that that's kind of like the little hatch let me put this guy here then you can also put a guy uh -oh. up in the little area up there, the little house, the little uh, tank gun, and it kind of looks like he's commanding a tank. And there you go, you more or less have it. That's the configured tank. Now, as I told you, I will go into the other de details. So I already went into the into that detail. Um, what you can do over here, so you have the little guns, so the side guns, and if you want to get a little flag piece, that's the same color as your tank that you're building, and something to hold it on, to, or kind of a, an adapter piece, to hold it on to there, you want to put that there, and it makes a little, I don't know, gun cover kind of thing, protect you from weather or something like that, I don't know. You can put a railing right here, you can put a railing kind of anywhere. Over here, I have a series of just uh, little things that, you know, they have a, kind of like little hands. You can attach, you can put stuff on there. And a series of these ones. The same thing that you use, the kind of adapter pieces. And you can use those attached to a variety of things. This is kind of like your little fuel thing. It more or less is just... Take one of those, one of the little pieces that has a, uh, a little bump coming out. Kind of like the little white pieces. And then you put an, uh, a long rod in there. Two of these circular pieces, a bump on the end, and a little grabber thing and, uh, on there. Right there, that's kind of your fuel tank. These are kind of just tactical grips. You can attach things to them. Put those off the side or whatever. This one, there used to be a little gun on top of it. But yeah, more or less just, you can attach a gun onto that. Kind of make a little gu uh, gun. Periscope, kind of. You can, just, you can build that one just by putting down one, a tech, one of these Technic pieces. Then getting a, um, what do you call it, a little circular piece again, and putting a little binoculars on the top. And that makes a periscope type thing. Over here, you, you want you can put some vents across the thing. So here's a vent. Uh, I can't really focus on it, but yeah, they're more or less just a little, they're just little circular pieces, but they have vents on top of them. So I put two vents on the back of my tank. Another hatch, and just to put some of these pieces, because in the real tank I noticed these. The tank that is modeling itself of. And these little grab pieces. And that's more or less the, all the extra details. I'm just going to kind of leave it here for a second so you can kind of see where, that all, where it all goes. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching how to build this tank.